have, oh, I don't know, I don't want to assume that people give a shit enough to watch chronologically my stuff that I post, but I mentioned that I wasn't very well quite a while ago now, so I have been, I had a chest infection, I've been out, I've been out of the game for a week and a half now, I've been, in fact, it's a bit messy, I'm, I'm taking advantage because this is the first time I have felt even remotely human in a week and a half, oh, honestly, it, it's been, um, it's been a rough, rocky road. You can even still hear it, like, that's, if you sit next to me, it, it's like that. Um, yeah, so uh, this is where I've been. It's a bit messy because I, I actually managed to leave the house today. But this is where I've been living <laughs> for a week and a half. It, it could be longer. I, I've, I've lost hope, my mind, my sanity. They're both the same. So, do you know what I mean? I, I haven't got two brain cells to rub together anymore. I've just said the same point twice. I went out today, this evening, because I had to get myself together because it's International Women's Day. So, happy International Women's Day to everyone, men and women, because the whole point of International Women's Day is that we want to be treated equally. We want everyone to be treated equally and to squash the toxic patriarchal standards that affect both men and women. Yeah, so I've been out this evening at a, at a local women's night looking at women doing women things, whatever they are. And oh my God. So I just thought I would take the opportunity whilst I look remotely human because I've, oh, that's where Jabba the Hutt lived for the past week and a half. I'm not, I, I'm being self-deprecating, but I'm being completely honest. That was Jabba. Honestly, oh, I feel so good to be, see this is good because I'm offloading it again onto you. So a burden shared is a burden halved. But I used to say that as a joke and someone actually said to me, well, if you think about it in another way, um, a burden shared isn't a burden halved. You've just affected someone else emotionally with your burden. So that's actually just two people that are fucked up now. And I was like, oh yeah, that's, a, that's also another way of thinking about it. But yeah, I'm sharing my burden with you. Uh, I'm, yeah, and I'll be doing some actual hike related stuff again, which I'm excited about because I've, I've digressed off the topic a little bit. But I don't know if I'm allowed to say it because I'm, I'm semi against it myself, but I ordered from Amazon while I was in bed, I was like <clears throat> ordering. So I have some other equipment that's come in. So I'm going to show it off at some point. So nice to be back speaking. And I think it's officially, I want to say 27 days now till whoosh, fly out. I'm, oh, I'm so excited. I think the only thing I have left to get is some titanium cutlery, which I've decided on polish and titanium. My stove, I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get a pocket rocket. And 
I did get some semi waterproof trousers, but I'm binning them, I'm chucking them away. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm returning them and getting my money back, and I'm gonna get some frog frog togs while I'm over in the when when I'm over in the states. And there was one more thing. Oh, a Sea to Summit pillow. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna trade my other pillow. That, but I think I'm pretty much there now. I'm really, 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 really excited. Every day I just think about the trail. The trail is calling me now. I'm trying to think of, I see so many people talking about trail magic and things that they're gonna be offering while they're there. And I feel like it's quite important to give something back at the same time and share things with people if you possibly can. So I'm trying to think about what could uh, be my offering of trail magic. Obviously can't carry too much, so I have to be mindful of that. But being a PT, I know some really, really good stretches which will be good for people. Maybe we can do group stretches. That would be cool. After a long day, deep, deep stretches. So that's one thing. But I am a little bit like creative. I don't know whether I can create a couple of little tokens that I can drop along the way. Yeah, so that's, that's my latest thing that I'm like whizzing about in my mind. I think I'm just like, what can I do? What, what's going on with the trail? I think it just everything's racing through my mind. I'm really, really, really good at starting to just say something really, really quickly for 30 seconds and then looking at the timer on the bottom of my phone and seeing that I'm on seven minutes and five seconds. That's probably my talent. So maybe I can talk at people constantly until they're asleep on the trail. That would be something that I could offer. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm just so happy to be, nothing makes you appreciate your good health. <clears throat> until you don't feel so good. So I'm on my last couple of days of antibiotics. My right lung, that's the one that packed in. It's taking some actual oxygen in it now, which is uh, a relief. You know, it was touch and go there with the breathing and stuff. So yeah, I'm on the mend. So happy to get back to the gym tomorrow, hopefully, get some walking in, get some weighted walking in. Anyway, I'm on eight minutes and 30 seconds nearly, so hello everyone. I'm gonna do something more relevant soon and um, so nice to be well. Uh, oh, and thank you so much for everyone leaving me comments and subscribing to me and listening to me and it's been a bit overwhelming really because I'm quite, um, I'm quite a, uh, what's the word, introvert really, I'm quite an introvert person, I mean I have, obviously I have extrovert tendencies, I can be confident in certain scenarios, but I, I tend to not have loads of people around me that much and uh, not really think that people are really that, like want to listen to me ever, so that's been really nice to have people interacting and um, giving feedback and Okay, I've definitely done this time, okay? <laughs>